Imagine you're attending a wedding. Everyone is having a good time and the celebration is moving along smoothly. Out of nowhere, one of the guests decides to take over the DJ turntables, playing an off-key tune that throws everything off balance. Your cardiovascular system and cardiotoxicity can be thought of in that same way. Just as a skilled DJ knows how to read the crowd, adjust the tempo, and keep the energy flowing, our cardiovascular system is designed to perform flawlessly. But when toxic substances or treatments interfere, they disrupt the heart's smooth groove, potentially leading to serious complications. Dr. Henry Chang is board certified in imaging and general cardiology. He earned his medical degree from the University of California at Los Angeles, completed an internal medicine residency at Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore, Maryland, and a cardiovascular medicine fellowship at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. He delivers unrivaled care right here at home. Dr. Chang, thanks for being here. My pleasure, thank you for having me. First question that we have for you today is uh, that, you know, we know more and more people are successfully going through cancer treatment and surviving. Unfortunately, that treatment can sometimes be disruptive and can cause other problems and issues for the patient. So I know there's this, this subspecialty that you have in cardio-oncology that has come about. Tell us a little bit about what that is and why you were so interested in that. Um, so cardio-oncology is a study of how chemotherapy and radiation therapy affect the heart. And what piqued my interest in this field was um, when I was in fellowship, I took care of oncology patients and my research mentor uh, made a career out of studying these drugs and how they affect the heart. And so in fellowship, we uh, engaged in uh, the study of using artificial intelligence and imaging and combining that to screen patients uh, for early onset cardiotoxicity. Oh, fascinating, fascinating. Um, so what should patients that are currently going through cancer treatment and chemotherapy uh, really know and what should they do with regards to radiotherapy? Yeah, so not all uh, chemotherapy regimens are cardiotoxic. Um, I think with the, um, the great care that's offered by their oncologists, especially uh, Tennessee Oncology, um, they are attuned to which therapies can be potentially cardiotoxic. Mm. So what I typically tell patients is reach out to their oncologist and see if the drug that they're on is cardiotoxic and then it can be referred to a cardiologist for management. Oh, interesting. Who should seek the care of a cardiologist when they're going through cancer treatment? Uh, so patients with a prior medical history, uh, either a prior cardiac history, uh, diabetes, obesity, hypertension, and then if they're undergoing treatments that are cardiotoxic or known to be cardiotoxic. Now there are some treatments that are experimental and may not um, have the full side effect profile um, that's well understood. And so those patients uh, can seek out an, a cardiologist to help them through their therapy um, when they're undergoing something that is uh, unknown. Yeah, really takes a partnership, doesn't it, between the cardiologist and the oncologist yes. uh, for this treatment. What are some of the things that cancer patients can do to lower their risk of cardiotoxicity? Yeah, great question. So um, making sure that their diabetes and their high hypertension is under control, um, live, living an active lifestyle, eating healthy, um, having regular checkups with their primary care physician as well as their oncologist. And then if there's ever any question, to seek out the expertise of a cardiologist in our um, cardio-oncology clinic. Oh, interesting, okay. So lastly, can you talk about the personalized care that you've been able to develop here at CHI Memorial and the Chattanooga Heart Institute? Yeah, so we have a very close working relationship with the oncology team, uh, with their social workers, and also we have uh, specialized imaging uh, modalities uh, for our patients undergoing chemotherapy, and this is the only um, program that's offered in this region. And so having that specialized care with uh, the oncologist and the advanced imaging 
uh, and having that close communication really is what provides a personalized care for our patients. Well, fantastic. Well, thank you for joining our team. Thank you for being an expert in uh, the specialized field of cardio-oncology and bringing that service to this community. You really have developed unrivaled care here in this community. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.